Hello, love and greetings to you. I'm Paul Friedman, founder of the Marriage Foundation. And the topic that you searched for is what to do when you're disappointed with your spouse. And this is just for you ladies. If you're a man, I've got one for men, but men and women are very different. And at the Marriage Foundation, we honor those differences. We honor you as a soul who has a body and has a mind. And I say that not to start making this religious, but to help introduce you to a concept that is so valuable that we are not taught. We're not taught these things. I don't want to get into a big editorial, but we're not taught these things because Western psychology, which kind of owns the franchise of marriage wrongfully, and it's going to change, doesn't like to talk about anything that is spiritual. And the truth is that we are essentially spiritual. We are souls. This is not religious. Spiritual is different. We are souls. We don't have one. We are a soul. And we have a mind. And we have a body. So the Western psychological approach of honoring the emotions which come in the mind is way off. We don't want to honor them. They're like pop-ups in the computer or on your on your device that says, you know, you got this going on, you got that going on, and it brings awareness to situations, but it's not to be honored. We don't worship at the feet of emotions. What we do is we recall, and we're not taught this, so it's not your fault. We recall that we are souls and that when we met our husbands, we fell in love and it wasn't up in the mind. It wasn't emotional. Sure, there's emotional love. That's what you have when you get a new dress or something. Emotional love is, is, is not nothing. It comes and goes. What is critical is that you as a soul met your soulmate. You fell in love at the level of your heart, the soul, your soulmates. Remember, this bridge between you is reflective of what marriage is, a union between souls. That love is so deep and overwhelming that really your mind cannot even wrap its arms around it. We don't know this because we weren't trained. I discovered these things in 2001, or that's when I began. I used to be a divorce mediator. And I discovered all these things about marriage that are just beautiful. Marriage is incredible. And so here you are and you're disappointed with your husband. You're disappointed with your spouse and you're going, what do I do? What you do is you put aside the mental stuff, which is calculations. And this will surprise you kind of it's based on the physiological drive to survive. Remember that from middle school. I don't know when they teach it now. I was in high school when I learned it, but every living organism, has this drive to survive, survive. It's all about survive. It's intelligent, but it's stupid. So what it means is that your body is always looking out for itself. It doesn't want things that are too cold, too hot, too dangerous. It wants to have food. It wants to have air and water. It's survival and it calculates everything from a point of view that is black and white. Oh, this is dangerous. This is safe. I can't get anything out of this. I can get something out of this. That's what the mind is doing in its subconscious part. We're not Western psychology, but we recognize how the mind works. And so because we never were educated, we are taught, by the way, please subscribe. Now we are taught to honor these. Well, I'm disappointed in him. So what? It's a passing thought. It doesn't have. And then what happens is the mind gets on a train of thoughts to support this errant thought, but you have control. You're the soul. You're the human being who's in charge of your domain. So you fell in love with your husband. You say no mind and you bring it back to all the positive attributes of your husband. But most importantly, how much you love him 
and you start cultivating that love. You know, I've written books about this and have courses on this. It's very important. Go to our website. For free, you could download the top 10 do's and don'ts. And that's very important. You should do that and subscribe to the channel. It really does help. It helps get the word out. And so don't be panicked. Don't be freaked out that you're disappointed in your husband. And don't do a whole story of, but you don't understand. He did this. I was shocked. He did that. I couldn't believe it. We all make mistakes. All of us. You make as many mistakes as he does. They're just different mistakes. But because the mind always wants to protect itself, it always sees everyone as a threat. It's like the purpose of marriage is to learn to love unconditionally. That means to rise above the mental garbage that's constantly pull, pulling you down and bring yourself back into the soulmate role. That's what it's all about. And then you get to have a marriage that is off the charts. We've been saving thousands of marriages, thousands. We've been doing this since 2001. And we use this science that I discovered about marriage that is so beautiful because when you use a science to operate your marriage, what you do is correct. You don't miss a beat and bringing your life back into what I call the sacred space of marriage, where you learn to love unconditionally and you, you know, you ignore those thoughts or you use them as a trigger to move your mind into a more marriage friendly thought. You have that power and you use it. And that's what to do when you're disappointed with your husband. Don't go there. Don't go there. You're married to him. You love him. He loves you. And you could build upon this in the most beautiful way. So please subscribe, please like the video, leave a comment if you wish. And I'm Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. We are here to serve you. All we do, by the way, is marriage, nothing else. That's it from A to Z. So God bless you and take care. I want to see you again. Come see me again. Take care.